Hello, welcome to the Water Cube 2011. May can you introduce yourself and show us your name tag as well, please? Sure. Hi, I'm Julia Bucknell. Mm -hmm. I'm the manager of oh, <laughs> I'm the manager of the Central Water Unit of the World Bank, mm -hmm. um, and my name tag is there. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Julia. And um, you have a problem statement for the Water Hackathon. What is that? Okay, so one of the problems we have in water. About 70% of abstractions of water are used for irrigation. A lot of irrigation uh, takes much more water out of the river or the lake than is actually used by the plants. And so many people say that's very inefficient. And they say that we should use things like drip irrigation because that's much more mm -hmm. efficient in terms of getting more of the water that comes from the river into the plants that you're growing for, for crops. Mm -hmm. Now, in practice, when a farmer convert, converts to drip irrigation, it's not that he actually takes less water, he's not that he takes less water out of the river. What he very often does is take the same amount of water and just convert loads of it into plants, up, goes up into the air and back into the water cycle. Previously, the water that was lost went to some of it, went down into the ground and back into the river to be used by somebody else in that same basin. So. When you convert to drip irrigation, sometimes what you do is use actually more water than you used to use at the basin scale. Now this is very controversial in, um, in the world because there's lots and lots of places that are saying, oh, I will be able to expand irrigation or, or feed, give more water to my cities because I'll make my irrigation more efficient. But if by making it more efficient we actually cause farmers to use more water than they used before, as in take it out of the basin so it goes into, back into the water cycle, then we've got a real problem. And we have very few proper academic measured studies that really tell us what happens in practice. So in theory it's true, you should be able to use less water, get the same amount of crop, but in practice we don't really know what happens. So I would like a solution that tells us um, exactly what happens when farmers convert from um, flooded, flood based irrigation to drip irrigation at some kind of field scale. Thank you. Great, thank you for sharing today.